Good morning and <laughs> welcome to 7 at 7. So Come glad on. to have you with us whatever time you're tuning in. I'm Pastor Daniel. This is Pastor Tim. How's it going? Um, and I'm excited. We get to dive into the Word together and yeah. look at some of God's promises. Sunday, Pastor jumped into messages on healing. It was so good. Yeah. And I'm excited to dive into that. But before we do, hop in the comments. Let us know you're there. Share any praise reports, prayer requests that you may have. Phyllis said, hey, thank you guys. Woke up this morning feeling better. Pain is gone. Cough. Um, and so is my cough. Praise God for healing. So I love seeing those testimonies. Um, but as we dive into this today, uh, one of the things that pastor said that really stood out to me is he said that faith is largely dependent on knowledge. You can't have faith without a promise. Yeah. And this is this huge thing that when we just have a desire, it's called hope. Yeah. But when we have a promise, then it's faith. Yeah, you can stand on it. Yeah, it's not just, oh, I would like this. It's, no, this is mine because God's word says it. Yeah. So this morning, yeah. I just want to dive in and look at a couple of God's promises. Yeah, yeah. In, uh, in 2 Timothy 2.24, it says, He himself, that's Jesus, he himself bore our sins in his body on the cross so that we might die to sin and live to righteousness. And then it gives this amazing thing. It says, for by his wounds you were healed. And what's cool about that is it doesn't say by his wounds you will be healed or you might be. It's you were. It's this idea of it's already happened. So then it takes how do we receive uh, yep. the gift we've already gotten. Pastor Dan, you, you've mentioned this before where it's like it's kind of like a Christmas gift. Yep. Uh, if you wrap it and put it under a tree and leave it there, it does you no good. Yeah. It's purchased. It's provided. It's sitting under that tree. But then yes. it comes me receiving it. Yeah, I love the, this idea that Jesus has already done his part yeah. on so much. And a lot of times we're waiting for him when he's waiting for us to open up this gift. Yep. But if we don't know what we have, yeah. we won't. Yeah. And I think Pastor made a comment Sunday just on how often people get confused on what comes from God and what doesn't. Yeah. And yeah. this question of, does God really want me healed? <laughs> Um, first John <laughs> chapter five, and I've, I've had the conversation, I mean, somewhere close to hundreds of times with people and they're like, yeah, maybe if it's God's yeah. will and, yeah. and yeah. you go through, but in first John five, we are told to that, um, this is the confidence that we have toward him, that if we ask anything, anything. according to his will, yep. he hears us. Yep. Well, where do we see and where do we know God's will? Yeah. And that's what the promises are for. For sure. Yeah. And I love, Pastor mentioned Hebrews chapter one uh, on Sunday. He said that this is that Jesus is the exact representation yeah. of God's nature. It, he is the yeah. exact image. And so if we look at him, what was Jesus' response to sickness? Did, we, did he ever embrace it? It always says he was moved by compassion and healed them all. Yes. And the only time that they weren't healed, which your, your dad referenced again on Sunday night, I believe, was when people lack of faith made it so he they, couldn't. They wouldn't engage with it. Yeah. Um, and so when he lays this out, I begin to look and go, okay, this is what Jesus did. In fact, I pastor mentioned on Sunday, the, the man who comes up to Jesus, who goes, if you're willing, you can make me clean. Yeah. And I was looking at that and Matthew, Mark, and Luke all bring it up. Yeah. And they all go through and they record Jesus' response that says, I'm willing, I'm willing. be healed. Yeah. In Matthew chapter 6, Jesus tells us how to pray. And so th this, this is a great framework, whether, no matter what it is that you're going through. And he starts out, he says, hey, your kingdom come, or first he says, our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Then he goes, your kingdom come, your will be done yeah. on earth as it is in heaven. Yeah. So if I'm wanting to get an idea of what does God want, what yeah. does God want to look like, yep. and go, well, what is it going to look like in heaven? That's what I'm supposed to be praying here. Yeah. Is there sickness in heaven? No. All right. Then I can stand yeah, yeah. and go, God's will isn't for sickness. Yeah. God's desire for me is health. It's John 10.10. 10. The thief comes to steal, come yes. and destroy. Jesus came that we might have life and life abundant. Absolutely. And it's such a powerful thing when we can lay a hold of, hey, this is for yeah. me. Yeah. Um, Jesus said in Matthew 16, hey, these signs will follow those who believe. Um, and he goes through, through hey, they're going to cast out demons. They're going to lay their hands on the sick and they're yep. going to recover. 
And it goes through these different promises. In fact, John 14, 12, he says, um, you know, you'll do the works that I did in greater works than these. Yeah. He, go, he, he passed it on, Matthew 28. He says, all authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Go therefore. Yeah. And he commissions us because yeah. he wants us to bring his kingdom to Come earth. On. This isn't us manipulating God to get our way. Yeah. Yeah. This is us doing what he asked. Yeah. When I send my son to wake up another kid, it's not him <laughs> pestering his brother. This is him on mission to carry well, out dad's will. Yeah, yeah. And for us to recognize that God's commissioned us, That's good. go and do this. <laughs> and when we do it, we're not manipulating, we're obeying. Yeah, exactly. And God wants you well. I don't know what you're going through, but God yeah. wants you healed. Can I share a little testimony on Go that? I went uh, with the healing service Sunday night. I went up right at the end and was like, hey, pastor, can you pray for me? And I've been dealing with like leg issues, uh, just kind of like nerve, kind of just tightness and all this stuff. And uh, it, was, it was it was funny because he mentioned like, the tr he always mentions the trigger pull. Like you got to have a moment where you say, okay, now I'm receiving it. And for me, it was that moment where like my flesh was like, no, don't do it. But the spirit inside of me said, no, go stand up there, do it. God's got something for you. So I went up there and I stood um, and he prayed for yeah. me. And since then, like, That's I haven't awesome. had any, any issues. So. That is awesome. And God wants to do something for you as well. Uh, we're going to go through some confessions that Jeannie actually um, had a word and that she gave uh, in the morning. Yeah. Um, so go ahead and repeat these with me. And then I'm going to pray over you guys. Uh, from the top of my head. From the top of my head. To the soles of my feet. To the soles of my feet. Uh, Every curse, every curse. His blood sets me free. His blood sets me free. Uh, what's weak is made strong. What's weak is made strong. What's crooked is made straight. What's crooked is made straight. What's damage is restored. Which damage is restored. What is dead is reborn. <laughs> what is dead is reborn. What is weak is made strong. What is weak is made strong. Uh, what is bound is gone. What is bound is gone. Christ's blood breaks the curse. Christ's blood breaks the curse. Its destruction is reversed. Its destruction is reversed. By Christ's broken body. By Christ's broken body. I am healed. I am healed. With divine life, I am filled. With divine life, I am filled. From all pain, I have been freed. From all pain, I have been freed. From the top of my head. From the top of my head. To the soles of my feet. To the soles of my feet. God, I thank you for each person who's joining us today, that by your stripes we are healed, that it is your will that we would be whole, that we yeah. would be healthy. I speak life and health into these bodies now. I command yeah. sickness to flee, for these lingering uh, effects to be healed, yeah. for immune systems to function properly, yeah. to fire back up and to recognize what is good and what is bad, for yeah. a revelation of who you are, of your love for us and what you want for us, that we could walk in it, that you'd give us a revelation of your promises and that we could see them come to pass. And I thank you for it in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Well, be blessed. Have a fantastic day and go. You are filled with the Spirit, equipped to carry out God's will on earth as it is in heaven. Be blessed and we'll see you guys tomorrow for 7 at 7. See you tomorrow.